So we've got our, our Axiom Cyber here, and we're going to select Search with UR Rules. This is the new processing option that we've added. And you'll notice that we have, we're including in Axiom Cyber several YAR rules that you can use out of the box. These are from our friendly folks at Reversing Labs. We're kind enough to provide these uh, rules with us. And you can find the GitHub um, on your own and you can search that. What we're going to do here um, is talk through some of the details that we've added to this. You can select the edit button here and that allows us to include certain uh, set folders where you have your own YAR rules that your organization is using. You can also add a location, and we can even use UNC paths if you have shared rules in your organization, or you can simply browse to something. Once you've added your rule set, you can refresh, and you can select which of the rules you'd like to process against your case. Selecting the rule sets, um, you can even view the rule if you're unsure about the content or you need to validate that the rule that you've selected is going to apply to your case. You can also add a new rule set by specifying a path, or you can even copy and paste content from a rule that you've already created or that you found on another website. I'm just going to copy and paste one in right now so you can just see it. And there you see the contents of the rule be created. And you can even set the name of the rule set. Like this. Specify the location, and the new rule is added. We can also do some basic filtering and sorting on our rules. You can search by the name of the rule. So we could search virus. And all of the rules that we have pertain to viruses show up. Or maybe you have a ransomware. Today, we're going to use a rule that I've created for a specific piece of malware that's present in the evidence we're going to look at. It's called PDF Logger. Then you can select your artifact details. And what we'll do is we'll actually run a small check against our YAR rules to see if any of them compile properly. Any errors will be displayed with an exclamation mark. All right, let's jump into process. You can see here we're using our new, nice new uh, dark view. I'm going to drop into our artifact section. And you'll see that we have a, an evidence set from Selena Thompson. We believe she had uh, accidentally ran some malware on her machine, and we ran a YAR rule process. And guess what? We found it. Under YAR rule matches, you'll see we had one hit for the PDF writer keylogger YAR rule that we wrote. You can see that the hit is displayed in the evidence view here. And on the right hand side, we can actually take a look at where some of the matching conditions were in the file. This is going to help you out when you are trying to validate if the rule is an accurate hit or if you need to determine some kind of context. In addition to the YAR rule matches, we also have the YAR rule set that contains the exact rule that was written and we used to process. Notice the rule set location. We store the rule set location from where the rule was when we process the case, but the rule itself is stored inside the case. So if the rule changes, you'll know that we can, we can retain the exact rule that was used when we process to maintain continuity. The details pane over here is gonna be helpful. Something we're really familiar with and provide some of that general information that we need to look at a source file. However, if we wanna interact with the file that we found, go ahead and click on source. That's going to jump us over here to the file view. And this is where we can use some, bring to bear some of the powerful features of Axiom Cyber for our investigation. Notice the preview tab here provides some of ASCII decoding from this specific file. What we're going to do, however, though, is we can actually go and use the details pane here and start interacting with this file, such as timeline or run connections. But you can see here that Selena has her SID, right? So we know that she ran it. 